I'd like to start off by saying welcome to Drona C. Thanks for stopping by to view our videos. I hope y'all had a Merry Christmas and uh, we got a Mavic 2 Zoom the weekend before Christmas so we were very happy about that. It took about, I think it was about a month to get here but I believe it was well worth the wait. Um, we got to watch a lot of YouTube videos on drones while we were waiting for it to arrive. Um, I just wanted to say if you're expecting professional looking videos, then you've come to the wrong place. We are new to all of this. That's the reason we started this channel. So we can give y'all a glimpse into what it's like from a beginner standpoint as we gain experience flying our drone. When I say we are new to all of this, I mean not just flying a drone, but also videos, video editing, the whole kit and caboodle. I've always stuck with my Canon camera for photography, but the idea of getting aerial shots made me want a drone. So now I have a drone and I'm kind of excited about it. Um, on this video, um, this is our first flight of our Mavic 2 Zoom. I was kind of nervous because, I mean, that's a lot of money crashing to the ground if I mess up. So Steve and I took turns flying. We were learning the different functions and how to operate and move the camera around. Uh, we need a lot more practice at slowing down as we move the drone and camera. There's parts in the video where the drone isn't moving and all you see is the same thing. That's just us figuring out the controller functions. I've edited the video because there was a lot of time where the drone wasn't moving as we were figuring out everything. Some of the edited video had extreme spinning, which could make you have a major case of vertigo. Um, I edited the edited that out too because I didn't want people sending me medical bills because they got vertigo from watching us learn how to fly our drone. <laughs> so our home is surrounded by trees. Um, so we went to our local high school baseball field and it was like the nearest place with no trees or power lines that we could crash into. So we started off in beginner mode. Actually we kept it in beginner mode the entire time. We never took it out of beginner mode. In beginner mode, it only goes 97 feet up, 97 feet out in every direction. Um, that as far as it would go. That is as far as it would go um, in beginner mode. So, uh, if you really want to get a real good aerial shot, you're going to have to go go out of uh, beginner mode to get that. But as I said, we were trying to learn everything, and we did not want to take any chances of losing our drone on our first flight. Um, so the sun was coming up. It was early in the morning when we went out to the baseball field. The baseball field was frozen. The sun was coming up. And since the sun was coming up, we were getting these zebra stripe lines on the iPad mini screen when we were looking at the drone footage on the mini the iPad mini. Um, we didn't realize that was from the bright sun and we thought those were lines that were going to show up on our video when we uploaded it, but thankfully it wasn't. Um, hopefully we will be able to hopefully learn how to fly this thing quickly and maybe we'll get brave enough to take off um, off of our back deck. Um, our, like I said, our house is surrounded by trees so we're kind of scared right now to try to navigate around all those trees. Um, but in the video, all you're basically looking at in this video is a baseball field, a football field, I think there's a track they're doing some construction on, just a lot of the sports fields around the high school. Um, and then off in the distance, you can see Chickamauga Lake, Harrison, or some people call it Harrison Bay, some people call it Chickamauga Lake. Um, you can see Highway 58 with the traffic going by. And Harrison's not a very big town, but it is like 10, 15 minutes away from Chattanooga, depending on what part of Chattanooga you're going to. And um, it's about 20 minutes from Cleveland, at least the area that we live in. Um, but it's a, it's a nice little town. And um, there's also Harrison Bay, Bay State Park across the lake, which is nice to go hiking and things that. But you can't fly, you can't take off or land your drone from the state park. No Tennessee state parks. You're not allowed to do that in any of the state parks. But anyway, this is our video. I hope y'all enjoy it. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like it. You can also subscribe to our channel, hit notifications so you can get updates when I post new videos. You can also find us on Twitter and Instagram at Instagram at Drona C. And we may also get Facebook eventually. I just haven't had time to set all of that up. I work full time as well. So 
If you have any questions, suggestions, or just want to say hi, please leave us a comment. If you want to fuss or complain about our beginner's footage, then take your perfect self on over to a better page. Come back next year when we have mastered all this. I will leave you alone for now since the video is almost over. And I hope y'all have a happy new year and see y'all next time when I'll fly away again. Bye-bye.